Welcome back. So today I have a fun video that I wanted to share. So I was at Kmart the other day and I came across these super, super cute Ice Age polishes. Um, I can't find a brand anywhere. I've even checked like online and there's not much about these, but yeah, Kmart and there are six in the collection and they are in collaboration for the new Ice Age Collision Course movie. And Ice Age is just, it's a fun, fun, fun animated cartoon. I really enjoy it. So yeah, I was excited to see these. The only part that didn't excite me so much was the price. Um, they were $6.99 a piece and you get a little bit less than what's actually even in a mini nail polish. We'll go more into that in a minute and I'll show you more about the bottle, the um, formula, and you know what they are and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it and we'll look at these are really awesome polishes. Okay, so I'm going to start with packaging here. Um, so you get these in these long kind of rectangular shaped bottles. Really nice. And for the amount, you are getting 6 milliliters, 0 0.20 fluid ounces. So, what is that? A little bit less than a size of a mini? I have one of these little mini Bitsy polishes here, I'll show you, and it's 0.25, so obviously you are getting a little bit less, and you're paying more, which is not always a good thing, but I guess for the novelty of these, and for the quality and the type of polish, because they're all like hollow, they all have a really strong hollow presence in them, and the formulas are all really nice. Um, all of these are two coaters, so super, super great. Easy to work with. Love the formula, so I guess that the price doesn't bother me too bad in that sense. And it's unique. I mean, I don't know if you are ever going to find something quite like this, because I have never, so I decided to get them and share them. So the cap. I promise it comes off. I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay. The cap comes off, so it is easier to paint your nails with instead of trying to hold on to this square cap. So that's something I definitely appreciate with these. Um, let me show you the brush really quickly. <clears throat> So here's what our brush looks like. Pretty standard. Um, really nice though. They don't feel cheap at all. The packaging and the quality of the polish and packaging itself, it doesn't seem cheap. Do you get what I'm saying? It seems very sturdy and nice and I like that. And then on the back you obviously get your names, which I love too. I hate when you get polishes that don't have names. So I'm so glad that these ones have fun names that go with the movie. Alright, so this first one here is called Alpha Sid Tori. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I hope so. Um, but it is the gold hollow version of the collection. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I will be putting in photos with these on my nails and then I'll also add in a photo with the flash on so you can see that hollow much better. So that's that. Let's go ahead and we'll give this one a swatch. So here is Alpha Sudori, whatever the hell. This is what it looks like outside of the bottle. Very gorgeous and blingy. Alright, 
so let's go ahead and get our first coat on here possibly are we not wanting to focus in today I can't whatever there we go so here's our first coat and it's really nice you guys are you seeing how nice this is applying here to the swatch I love it so much So there is our first coat of that. We'll let it dry down and we'll come back and finish up with another. Alright. Let's get our second coat on here. So two coats cover this completely for me and that is all you're going to see in all of my photos today so I don't have to keep repeating myself even though I probably will <laughs> but yes two goes for everything so there is that let's go ahead and we'll move on to our next shade So next up here is the silver version, and it's called Beam Me Up Buck. <laughs> that name funny. This is probably one of the more holographic ones. I mean, they're all holographic, but this one is a little bit more intense. Gorgeous. Okay, so here is what Beam Me Up Buck looks like outside of the bottle. Do you guys see how beautiful that is? I love it. Okay, so let's get our first coat swatched here. Again, super nice formula. Very, very high quality. So that is one of the reasons why I don't mind what I had to pay for them. Because they're so nice. I wasn't expecting them to be quite as great as they are, but I'm glad that they are. So we'll come right back in a minute and we'll finish up with our second coat of the Mia Buck. Alright guys, let's finish up here with the second coat of the Mia Buck. Do you guys see how well these are covering? I'm super impressed. Just wait till you see the uh, hollow in them once I show you what they look like if I haven't already with the flash. Oh god, so good. So there is two coats of that and it is completely opaque and let's go ahead and move on to our next. So the third one here is called When Scrat Attacks. Isn't that so cute? Pretty sure Scrat is that crazy squirrel that's always chasing around the acorn. But this is the purple version. And this one actually has a little bit of gold in it too. Super, super pretty. Okay, so... Here is our brush shot. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so here we go with our first coat of Winscrat Attacks. Again, great formula. 
I didn't get enough on my brush though. But yes, great formula just like the rest. This one might be a little bit thinner than the others, but nothing, it's crazy, you know what I mean? It's still super easy to apply and get good coverage with in two coats. So there's that. We'll be right back in just a minute. All right, let's finish up here. So two coats will bring this completely opaque. I also wanted to mention that these bottles are very, very similar to the Julep nail polish bottles. I don't personally have any, but I will pop in a picture for you guys somewhere if I haven't done it already. I will pop a picture in so you guys can see what I'm talking about if you don't already know. So there's our second coat of that completely opaque now so let's go ahead and move on to our fourth shade right, so the fourth shade i have here is called acorns and aliens another very cutely named polish this one here is the red version it also has a lot of that gold going throughout it as well all right so here is our bottle and brush shot of acorns and aliens isn't that a gorgeous gorgeous collar. These are so pretty. Let's swatch it. Alright, so let's go ahead and apply our first coat here. So this one here has the same formula as the previous three. Very nice. So there is our first coat and we'll come right back after that dries and finish up with it. Okay, let's finish up with our second coat of acorns and aliens. That is the most adorable name. I'm so impressed with these, you guys. So two coats cover that completely, so we will move on to our next. Number five, and second to the last, is called Collision Course. This is the namesake polish of the movie and collection. Um, this is the green version. Super, super gorgeous, like emerald green. It's so good. The hollow presence in this is really nice. It does have a little bit of that gold, I think, but not as much as the purple and red. So let's go ahead and get a better look and swatch this. It's gorgeous. Okay, so here is our polish outside the bottle. Absolute perfection. This color is amazing. Ugh, I just can't get over how good these are. Alright, so here we go in with our first coat. And obviously I did not get enough of my brush. I have a tendency to do that. I don't know why. Super nice formula, just like the others. I know I sound like a broken record, but 
they're all just consistently great throughout each and every one of them so there is our first coat let it dry come right back all right so let's finish up here with collision course Two coats bring that completely opaque. Now we have one left. All right, so here we are, sadly, on the very last polish. This one is called Diego Agogo. This is the blue version, um, and it is amazing. It's probably the most holographic out of the bunch. They're all holographic, but this one is like extra, extra holographic, if that makes any sense. It's super gorgeous. So here is our brush shot. Isn't that amazing? Let's watch it. Okay, so let's get our first coat of Diego Agogo. Isn't that a cute name? They all have cute names though. Whoops. And again, super nice formula. Get situated here. <laughs> Super, super nice formula, easy to apply, great coverage. All right, we'll be right back in just a minute to finish up. All right, let's finish up with our second coat here. I'm losing daylight, so I'm sorry if the lighting seems to be changing but we're on the last one, so shouldn't be too big of an issue or a problem, I hope. Okay, two coats covers that completely, of course. So I will be right back and I will show you some more swatches and tell you my favorites and we'll finish up with that. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish up here. I have two that are my absolute favorites. They're all amazing, but these two are just the ones that stand out the most to me. Um, so that is Diego Agogo, which is the blue. Gorgeous. And then also the purple shade, which is when Scrat attacks. Okay, now I have some... <laughs> quick swatches here to show you guys, just so you can see everything at two coats on the nail wheel with top coat. And then I did do some alternatives that you guys could probably recreate with polishes you already have at home to kind of give you the same effect, if that makes any sense. Because I know that everybody probably won't be able to get a hold of these. So for those that aren't able to, I have some, you know, some alternatives that you could try at home yourself if you'd like. But here are all the swatches done. Everything, like I just said, two coats with top coat. So the green. Let's come up closer. The blue. the red, purple, 
gold. And last is the silver shade. All right, so let's turn this around here. And I will try to show you what I recreated a little bit. All right, so over here for the gold, this isn't exactly the same thing, but this is Orly's Rage underneath this. And then I have on a coat of Dodgy Barnett, which is a very, very, very like micro tiny hollow silver like, topper. You can build this up by itself, but I think that you could basically use any kind of polish like this, really. And then I also have the more dense, which is the new Sesh Premier Color. I did a review on these and I'll link it. It's Diamond Dust and it's just a very, very sparse, like micro silver holographic glitter in a clear base. And I know that China Glaze Fairy Dust is very similar to this. So what I wanted to say is that just you could take basically any metallic shade that you have. And I've got quite a few here. And then just add your hollow glitter toppers and whatever. And I feel like you could get a very similar effect. So I definitely wanted to just show you guys what those look like. So hopefully that helps if you guys can't find these. Alright, so I want to show you guys really quickly everything with the flash on. I wanted to just go to show you swatches with the flash on so you can see more of that hollow goodness that these have. So give me just a second and I'll be right back with that. All right guys, so here are all six polishes with the flash on. So the gold, isn't that stunning? Oh my God, I just can't get over how pretty they are. The green, the red, silver. The purple one, which is one of my um, favorites. And the last one, which is my other favorite, the blue. Look at the hollow. Seriously, this color is gorgeous. They're all amazing though. So let's go back here. I also put one coat of each of these over um, black to show you guys that you can do that. But I feel like they're just, they're better on their own. So here they all are over a black, which is cool too. And then once more, It's coming this way. Everything at two coats with the top coat. Aren't they amazing though?
All right, guys, so that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that you guys can find these if you want them. Um, if not, I'm really sorry, but they are really, really great. I know the price is a little steep for the amount that you're getting, but in my personal opinion, it it's actually worth it for me. So I guess that that's just something you're going to have to decide for yourself. Um, obviously, you don't have to get them all. You can get a couple if you want to save some money. But yeah, I love these. I think they're great. So happy with them. And I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one.